Hello and welcome to Friday. It's been a long day today. Uh, I woke up pretty early because I needed to help my mom out with getting her car. Uh, just general maintenance, uh, oil change, tire rotation, what have you, the works. So all of that got done this early, early this morning. Um, I was out of the house around 8, got back around 9.30. And, uh, it was raining this morning, too, so all of that got done. And then there was something else that I swear I got done early this morning as well. Oh, went to the grocery store. Um, just bought a couple of things. It was a quick walk. Uh, I think I only bought two things. I bought spinach and a small jar of yeast, and that was pretty much it. So all that got out of the way, did some cooking, and, uh... Then it was relatively tame for the rest of the day. Yesterday, I finished watching uh, Dungeon Meshi, which is a uh, one of them hot animes that everybody's been talking about. It's a show... Uh, hmm, what is it? How do I describe it? Essentially, you're in a fantasy world where uh, explorers will go and explore dungeons and uncover their secrets, get loot, get what have you, sell it to the markets, and that's the whole ecosystem. People die, there's people to bring them back to life, depending on how deep you die, uh, how deep into the dungeon you die it may not be viable to uh, rescue you and cause death and whatnot. They have people who can be revived in the dungeon, so it's interesting. All of that goes on, um, one of the characters dies in the first episode, deep in the dungeon, and their, and then the dungeon party's whole um, gimmick is that they want to go rescue them, and uh, because they're down on their luck, don't have any money, they resort to eating monsters in the dungeon. Something that's kind of, I would say, unethical, I guess. And um, with all of that. It's just an interesting story that's <laughs> being told. It's fine. Um, it For me, it doesn't really live up to the hype that everybody's been talking about. But uh, because I finished that yesterday, and uh, one of the shows that I finished watching as well was... Um, what was it? It was The Bear. The Bear is a wonderful, wonderful show um, where you have a cooking prodigy take over his brother's restaurant and you follow that journey from being a sandwich shop that uh, just does so much business to uh, down on their luck and then trying to turn everything around and trying to make it a better business. Um, everything about this show is just full of comedy, full of so much drama. Um, people were saying that season three fell rather flat compared to season two and one, but seeing as the show's already renewed for a fourth season, I hope we can turn it around. It was, it's a great, great, wonderful show. Go watch it if you haven't. Um, highly recommend it. It's 28, no, 26? 28, 28 episodes. Season one's eight episodes, the other two are 10, so 28 episodes. 28 episodes, um shouldn't take too too long uh there may be like 33 minutes each wonderful show and then because i finished those two um i need something else to fill that void right i talked about uh finishing what was it called Leo the other day so i uh, as you know i'm a big big fan of bad crime dramas not even not necessarily bad but cheesy crime dramas I love cheesy crime dramas, and one of the shows that I grew up and saw on occasion while walking past the living room would be Castle. It's a show about an author who uh, writes about murder mystery novels, and in the first episode, his works are being mimicked by a killer, so they call him in to as a consultant to be like hey this is obviously your domain explain to us what's happening so after all of that they um 
find the guy, put him in jail, and then at the end of the episode, uh, he finds a, uh, he get he's a, uh, rich playboy who, uh, has connections, so with his connections, he's able to swing a deal with the police and be like, hey, put me as a consultant full-time doing research for my next book. And that's the whole premise of the show. You have, it's a buddy cop thing, but instead of one of them being a cop, it is a writer. And lo I love this style of thing. They, when they do shows like this, my, my big things are having a very, a person who works with the police, but not, not who isn't police so i don't really like crime dramas like ncis or what have you who work outside with their own street justice or dealing stuff with like that um i talked about it before uh burn notice is great um elementary is one of my favorite shows there's another one that i'm forgetting uh white collar it's a great great show <laughs> all of these where it's just yeah we're we're working with the police but they're dishing out their own street justice and i love it it's so much fun watching these things because it's so dumb sometimes and it's so cheesy and it's great uh so yeah that's that's one of the big things that i spent just watching today and also because i finished watching dungeon meshi the one thing i wanted to watch as well was sailor moon um i typically watch like three shows at a time and they get finished in a varying degrees of speed uh i'll do one on the elliptical i'll do one passively and then one actively the active one is usually an anime that i need to pay attention to uh, the one on the elliptical and the one that i watch passively are things that are should be in english that i can just watch and focus on something else so having those are great great time fillers um i'm might cut it down to two if I'm feeling if I want to get through a show quickly I'll watch it both on the elliptical and while I'm on my computer just watching it passively and that does happen on occasion um it might lead to me just getting through stuff very very fast but we'll see how that goes uh Sailor Moon is interesting I've only gotten three episodes in and my one question is how much stuff does Tuxedo Mask do We'll get through it. It's a lot of fun, and, uh, you know, that's just <laughs> the kind of day I've had. It's been busy. I fell asleep a few times because I was up so early and uh, didn't really go to sleep too early last night, so because of all that, um, figured might as well to just take a rest day because I know Sunday is going to be very busy. I'm not sure about tomorrow, but I know Sunday is going to be quite busy, so... We'll go from there and uh, see what the rest of the week has in store for us, because it's going to be a busy, busy summer. All right, with that said, that's Ron and Call here for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope to see you tomorrow. And until then, later.